So show us how you grip that fastball. Um, the fastball is pretty pretty standard four seam grip. Um, I come across the seams right here. Um, I offset, so I turn it a little bit to the right, and I'm in the horseshoe. And I go with my two fingers um, on the on the seams, and I'll have my thumb on the seams back here. So that's my that's four seam grip. Okay, so let me try that. So this two fingers on the seams. Yeah, and then right there, and then I drop down these fingers to where I'm. They're kind of like this. So like that. Yeah, but it's like these more a little bit more drop down. A little more left. Yeah. Okay. So this 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 is dangerous. This is dangerous. Good. Some, sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what other you want to talk about the curveball? How fast yeah. have you gotten that? Uh, my curveball is around 75 to 78. Um, okay. Pretty pretty consistent right there. Um, so for the curveball, um, uh, my fastball is right here. I'll twist it a little bit to the I think right, and I'll come with against this horseshoe. Okay. So I got the horseshoe right here, and I'll come across it. My fingers, and I'll have my middle finger along the seam a little bit on the left, okay. and my pointer finger will come right across right there. My thumb will be on this seam right here, and my goal is to push off this seam with my thumb and to pull with uh, with this finger on the seams. I think it gives me a little bit more traction on the ball. Okay, let me try that one. So the thumb is on the seam. Yeah, we turn it where okay. you're going across the horseshoe. Okay, so the thumb on the yeah. seam. And then this one on the seam. Like your pointer, your middle finger on that seam, yeah. And then this drops down? Yeah. So like this? Yeah. Okay, y'all see that? Dangerous. Watch out. <laughs> okay, show us the last one and can you tell us how you learned this um, um, last pitch? So I wanted to learn a slider, and so I looked up who I think the best slider thrower is in the, in the majors right now, Chris Sale. And he said he has two different sliders, um, um, one to throw hard and for a strikeout, and one that he throws early in the count for a little bit softer. But he comes and he has the horseshoe right here, and he'll come put his fingers parallel with this seam right here. And so they're, they're kind of on this, his middle finger's kind of on the seam right here, and this finger's right beside it. And his strikeout pitch was the one I, I wanted to throw. He brings his thumb kind of up right there. And then for slower, you bring right here. But um, I think I threw it a couple times the other day. Um, got some swing, good swing and miss on it. And it's uh, probably my, my third best pitch. Uh, I don't use it as much because it's still I'm still new. But uh, that's how I throw it. That's awesome. So that's your third best pitch. So those are your top three go-to pitches? Yeah. Okay, so what's the pitch that you're working on? Um, my changeup. Okay. So my changeup, um, I'll come. I throw a four seam fastball, so I throw a four seam changeup. But I'll come across the seams right here, and it's a circle change. And so I'll make a, a circle with oh, my wow, thumb and um, my pointer finger. And I don't really use my pointer finger at all; it just kind of hangs off. Um, but I, I spread these fingers out. Uh, I seem. I used to, to have this pink, this pinky up here, uh -huh. but it would go kind of high and tight towards the righty. Um, so I dropped it down because I feel like I have a little bit more control and I try to throw it off of my uh, off my ring finger. So I think that's my change up and um, I just don't use it as much because I don't really trust it. But I think it's, it's getting better and better. Well, we definitely can't wait to see that pitch develop on the next level. We're super excited to see you pitching at LSU and of course beyond that. So thank you so much for giving us some insight into how you grip your pitches. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys.